Hi guys, it's Sam and I am going to be doing Get Ready With Me video, which I'm pretty excited about. I am not going out anywhere, but I thought I would share with you some new products that I've gotten. Not a lot, but I'll point those out to you. And I thought this was a great way to catch up and do something other than a haul video maybe. Although I am going to show you some things that would have probably made it into a haul video, but there's not that many, so I'm just going to share with you. And one of the things is a souvenir from Hawaii, my mom and stepdad just came back and they got me this and a t-shirt that I already stained. I am a messy eater so I already stained it and it's in the laundry now drying because I don't know how I got mess but I should really be legally required to wear an apron when I eat or a bib. Okay so I already put my moisturizer on and I thought oh, I did try to film this before by the way um, and I succeeded. I filmed it and I went to edit it but every time I try to edit a video my laptop shuts down and my computer like does this weird thing and I have to wait like a half an hour before it restarts taking the battery out and I am just going to try to film this all in one shot. I do have a pause button on my phone so I thought I would use that for when I and blending my foundation out. You guys don't need to see all that. Okay, so one of the new products that I am going to sh share with you and use is the Sonia Kashuk Primer Base Perfecting Brightening Primer. And this is a really nice size. It kind of reminds me, I think MAC has something like this, um, or bottle-wise, and has a pump. And then I did also get this Pixie by Petra Flawless and Poreless Primer. And it's a pretty small size it's a good travel size and i'm just testing these primers out before i go on the cruise which is by the way um today is the 10th i go on the 20th and i am super duper excited and um yeah so i am going to apply this and you'll see right away because i notice a difference with this um at least with my skin it really lightens the skin i don't know if it's brightening and i probably should have shaken it but i didn't so i put one pump out and it looks like this when you spread it and then I should have shown you I was thinking about this stuff after I put it all over my face one side, I should have shown you one side only oh and my nail polish is one of the nail polishes I showed you in the previous haul this is the Kiko and this is 336 so it looks like exactly how it is in the bottle love these nail polishes and they're always doing that buy through get be free so that's the primer and I'm still looking for a primer I feel like this is good for staying power and brightening but I really need a primer to fill in my pores so what I do is the one that I am um, trying to finish up this is the NYX pore filler and it comes out all messy I don't know if all they're all like this but like it comes out all weird like so I am going to put that where I need it and it's usually it's always in my nose area and well the t-zone and sometimes I bring it here okay so for foundation which I hope I have it there no I moved it over here I got finally finally I've been wanting to use this foundation or try this foundation out for the longest time it's the Revlon color whipped and I got it in 200 sand beige but it's definitely too light for me now so you can look at it here I think I'm gonna get I, because I do like this I think I'm going to get the darker one uh, well it was the one that I, I was originally gonna get 230 I think that's warm golden I got pretty tanned uh, so far this summer and I just need something darker this would be great for majority of the year but for right now it's a little too late but I still wanted to show it to you guys so I am going to take some with my fingers and I know some people are kind of like ooh open glass your fingers my fingers are clean I just washed them before and I just put this all over and it's pretty thick but it gives you really good coverage oops and so I am going to blend this out with my beauty blender the real techniques one or I don't know what they call it but um, I'm glad I got the two pack I really like this but as you can tell I'm not used this for that long and it's already like this big hole so that really gets in the way of the beauty blender because like it just gives you kind of like streaks so I'm gonna use the outside it is really good but it's breaking down a lot faster than my beauty blender which is disappointing so I'm gonna blend this 
and I will be back with the finished product. Okay, so I am back, and of course, as usual, there's always a hair. I think that was Ava's. Most of the time it is. Uh, I totally forgot that I usually put on an eye primer before I put on my foundation. I'm going to use a product that I said I was going to throw away. This is the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. I, before I threw it away, I was like, let me just test it out one more time. And it works really well. So I was like, you know what, let me just use it. Um, and finally use it up. So I am going to put that on my eye and just blend it out. It, it's a really nice base. So it doesn't smell funny, it still is super creamy. The only thing is I feel like sometimes it just clings to like any dry patches and my eyes are pretty oily so that doesn't happen that often but I just feel like it kind of dries like my skin is dry. Um, now that I'm saying that out loud I feel like maybe it is time to let go of it. I just can't, I don't know why. I have commitment issues I guess or no I don't have commitment issues I have like hoarder issues okay so I let that dry and the foundation I know it's too light especially if you compare it to like my hand and my neck but with the bronzer with bronzing I thought that it would be okay uh, so for concealer I'm still trying to use up the the MAC Studio Finish, Studio Finish Concealer and this one is NW20 and I just put my hands and I am going to put it under my eyes and, and most of the time I will take whatever's left on my finger and bring it down my nose and Cupid's bow and my chin and that foundation I had a pimple that's what it's called a pimple right there and it covered it up pretty well and I'm just going to use the Beauty Blender, the Real Techniques Beauty Blender, or sponge, and yeah, that's a real bummer that that, that just happened. I just washed it before I used it, and that just happened, so I don't know if it's the soap. I used a Dr. Bronner's, which that usually works pretty well, and I, um... I have this and another the black beauty blender open the original and it's not breaking apart like it just did here so yeah I kind of bummed out okay so that is done and what I've been doing lately is baking and that was that was like one of the trends that I was kind of not laughed at but definitely not laughed at but I was just like well I'm definitely never gonna do that but I really liked that. I was like, you know, let me just try it and see what the hubbub is about. And I'm going to use the e.l.f. High Definition Powder. This one is in Corrective Yellow. It's pretty yellow. And I actually like the sponge. It, I feel like it deposits a lot of product, but in like a concise way so it's not making a lot of mess. I mean, it's still messy because this is a loose powder. But So I picked some up and then I pressed it under my eyes and I just use this for the under eye I haven't tried it for the entire face and I just I normally wouldn't if I didn't do this step I would do the rest of my face but since I did do this I am going to go to my eyes and this is a super easy eye look I'm gonna use this is the Estee Lauder deluxe eyeshadow palette and you got this for you got this when you spent a certain amount and you paid a certain amount to get beauty free beauty products I don't know how that that didn't make any sense but so you spend a certain amount and then you pay like a certain amount to get these products anyway I'm gonna be using this is a matte brown and this is a kind of reddish brown but that it has shimmer and so what I like to do is I I'm going to take the matte brown and then I'm going to be blending it out. This brush is the e.l.f. crease brush and this is such an amazing brush. It's it's small enough that you could put it exactly where you want it but then you could also use it to blend. So I am going to just do one eye and to show you what I do and then I'll do the other eye off camera. And I am forgetting... Oh. 
I suck at these get ready with me's, but I am going to be taking the powder that I'm trying to finish up at the moment. This is the L'Oreal True Match Mineral Powder, and I usually like the True Match line, but this one is, it's okay. I don't hate it to not use it, but I don't love it, so I'm just trying to use it up, and I love to put a powder over my, ooh, that's a lot of powder going on in my eye area, um, just to set the primer. Okay. So let's get back to the eye, shall we? So I'm going to take the matte brown first. And I put it where my crease should be. And this is this has been my go-to look for uh, when I go out or if I'm meeting someone for dinner or I have a party. This is really it. And then I will take that shimmery brown red color and just put it on top. And then I'm going to be taking, actually, uh, I feel like I've said actually quite a bit in this video already. This is the Hourglass Ambient Palette, and I'm going to take the middle eyeshadow, or not a shadow, it's a highlighter, and I am going to put that on my lid. This video, I feel like, is a mess. <sighs> and I put that on my lid, and... Sometimes I will take just a matte shadow and put it on my lid, or you can even take your face powder and put it just to have something there. And then I clean off this brush just using one brush. And I just blend out. And I'm done with the eye. I'll be back with the other one. Okay, so I'm back with both eyes done and now I'm going to wipe off the under eye area so taking this brush I think it's from Walmart I don't know I painted it gold for some reason okay and then I am going to apply this powder over the rest of my face So that's a little bit different for me. I usually don't powder um, after I do my eye makeup. I usually like to do all my face, but with the baking, you really do want to let that sit, set, settle in for at least five minutes. And then for bronzer, I am going to, or contour, I am going to be, sorry, all my brushes are behind my mirror. So you know what? I'm just gonna put this in front of me so I'm not keep on looking like this. Okay, so I'm going to be picking the NARS Laguna Bronzer and it came in a kit or a gift set uh, from Sephora and I have made a little bit of a dent in it. I don't think you could tell, but it's definitely a dent and I'm using this is the e.l.f. blending brush and I love this because when I go so it's I feel like a perfect contour brush, but also you could use this to bring it down the neck and when I contour the neck I feel like a brush like this while it's great for getting into the hollows of the cheek it's kind of hard so it takes longer to bring it down your neck So yeah, that foundation, its I feel like it's a little bit drying, so if you have super dry skin, I'm not sure if it's going to work out for you just because it's super thick, um, but it does have pretty good coverage, so I feel like it'd be moisturized really well. Um, and it's the summertime, so you're kind of sweaty. Um, <laughs> it wouldn't be that bad. Okay, sorry, so I paused the video and I was away for like 10 minutes, so um, I was just talking to my mom who came, um, she was out and now she came home and I, she, blah, blah, she's about to um, go downstairs, so I want to talk to her before she went down. Um, so this is totally random, but this is something from my friend, she gave me 
um, it's my birthstone and it's a butterfly and there's um, a meaning behind each it's just so beautiful and dainty I absolutely love it and she also got me this ring if you follow me on Instagram so you could put it anywhere um, but she has the same one and I absolutely love that we both have the same one so I want to share that with you and back to my makeup so I did my bronzer and the blush that I've been loving lately is this city color B matte blush and another brush that I've been loving type of type of brush is the elf stipple brush or any stipple brush but um, this is the one that I have and I just love this color it's called blood orange and it's just so nice I feel like this is a really great blush for I want to say summer but also all year round um, and I'm going quite heavy because on camera I have realized that the colors don't show up as vivid okay and then for highlight I have been using the ambient powder a lot um, for a highlight but I am going to take it up a notch a little bit and use the Becca because I have it and I don't use it this is the one in opal and I love this one it's just so pretty and this brush that I'm gonna be using was from an eBay set that I love it was probably worth more than um, worth it for me to get in terms of uh, just the quality I would spend um, I have spent so much money on brush kits that I don't really like anymore and this one is so good so I am very impressed with this so I'm going to apply that to my cheekbones and I normally don't like a lot of highlight but this is just really pretty and I think I'm going to bring this with me on the cruise and that's another thing I am getting kind of overwhelmed because I have so much makeup um, in my opinion <laughs> uh, and I'm just getting a little bit overwhelmed thinking of what to choose to bring with me so I'm starting to think about it now and I think I'm going to bring this with me just because it's a cruise and you want to be glowing and pretty. And then I am done with my face. For my eyebrows, I am going to be using, this is the Alme, it's all written off, but it's a, it's a skinny eyebrow pencil. And I have come to realize that I don't love using pencil for my brows I like the brush I feel like that's my brows are pretty thick in person I know on camera it might not come off that thick but I feel like a brush is just more convenient for me and I don't like to spend a lot of time on my brows so I just fill in just a little bit because I know there's some areas that are not perfectly lined up with each other see if I had a brush I could just brush through and I would be done but I feel like with a with a brow pencil you have to be a little bit more exact And what I've done for the cruise in terms of what I'm going to wear at night, I have tried on all the dresses that um, that I have and I put aside, actually all the new dresses that I have, I have tons of dresses that I haven't worn and I just uh, pulled the ones that I like, that fit me and that I know I'm going to wear and it's a lot. So I am going to choose from that. There's two formal nights but I want to dress up the other nights as well. So I am still debating on that, but I have pulled all the dresses that fit me. That's important. You don't, I, I, when I was doing this, I was trying stuff on and a lot of stuff didn't fit. I'm like, why am I punishing myself this way? I have, I'm still struggling with just trying to find a diet or a lifestyle change that works for me because I really do enjoy food. Um, and I'm just trying to find that perfect balance of not, cause I am an overeater. So I just, I don't know I just get like I'm like I have to finish all this food and I don't have to do that but I don't know in my mind it's like it's a struggle so I'm trying to work on that but I did um, I have lots of dresses to choose from which is nice um, instead of having like nothing to choose from and I have to go out and buy uh, more clothes 
So I'm using the Sonia Keshek Eye um, Eyelash Curler, and this is probably my absolute favorite eyelash curler. I'm so glad that I got it because I just I haven't used anything else since. This is just a really great shape for my eyes, and I just love it. So I am going to curl my lashes, and I'm using two mascaras. They're both CoverGirl. This is the Lash Blast and this is Super Sizer. I like this for length and this is to hold my curl and give me volume. So um, with these two together it just makes a really great combination. And I'm going back to curl it because it won't, my curl won't hold for long. So this is great for length and separation. And then this just gives me more value well they both hold my curl so they both hold my curl but this just gives me more oomph and then I'll do the other eye and we're almost done with the look okay so I did both my eye lashes and as you can tell this side is like my hair is my eyelashes on this side are falling out. I don't know. There's something wrong with this eye. I feel like it um, gets irritated more easily than this one. And the hair is falling out. So I don't know what's going on with that. Probably like my nervousness and anxiety is causing it to fall out. Uh, if I wanted to go a little bit more dramatic. And this is to some of you it's not very dramatic. But I would take an eyeliner and put it on the outer corner. And um, sponge it out a little bit. And um that's what I would do if I want to just go a little bit more but I feel really good about this eye makeup look as it is and I'm gonna apply for my lips this is the NYX liquid suede lipstick in um, soft spoken I think yeah soft spoken I love this color I think it's that it's that 90s trend uh, 90s lip color but it's just so wearable and it does dry a little bit but it's still your lips aren't super dry it's not a liquid lipstick um, because it does come off but the color is just so nice and it feels nice on the lips And then I am going to be using a color that I don't like from this line. This is tea and cookies. But mixed together, it's not that bad. Okay, so the very last step for me is to apply a setting spray, and this is the Maybelline Master Fix Setting Spray. I don't love this, but I, again, I don't not like it enough not to use it. Uh, the smell is really weird, but it goes away in a few seconds, so I'm going to put this on. I love setting sprays. I think they just make my face feel like refreshed, and it sets the makeup, and my hair is... Ooh, it's bad, but I'm going to take a shower after this, so I'll try to make it as presentable as possible. I was actually planning on cutting it for the cruise, but since I'm trying to grow it out, I'm like, that's probably not the best idea because I wanted to go like um, an angled bob, like short in the back and longer in the front, but... It already took me a long time to grow this out, so I'm just going to leave it. And this is my go-to look for any event, whether it's day or night. I just, uh, most of the time I wouldn't go uh, with the eyes. I probably would just do mascara and maybe liner. But um, if I'm going to meet people or I'm going to have to eat for dinner or a party, um, I will put this look on. And this is my go-to look, so... And that's it. I hope you guys are all doing well. I I know I sounded crazy in this video, but that is just without editing or anything. Um, this is what I'm really like. And for upcoming videos, I think I am going... So I'm going to do cruise-related stuff, clothes that I'm bringing, what I'm packing, uh, makeup that I'm bringing, and... Um, also, I'm doing a laser video, laser hair removal video, so that should be exciting. 
and uh, I'm gonna just so it'll be when I do the video it'll be three sessions uh, because I paid for six so I thought I would do something in the middle and then I'll do a follow-up video three months later um, but yeah I'm really excited about that I have my next appointment in about a week so that's kind of cool and I was con getting concerned about my bikini line um, because I felt like I wasn't getting the same results but yeah you just have to wait for the hair to fall out and um, that sometimes might take two weeks three weeks for me I think it takes a little bit longer uh, but yeah it looks really good <laughs> that area and my underarms I haven't shaved in about a month so I think that's amazing uh, and I'm also getting laser LASIK eye surgery and I'm getting nervous about that I'm not gonna do it before my trip because you can't go into the water but it's something that I wanted to do for a very long time and I might do a video on that I might not maybe I'll just do an update just to let you guys know um, how it's going um, but yeah I'm just really excited about doing that so lots of changes coming up and um, again I'm excited for my cruise I can't believe it's here I've been excited about it since I booked the trip which was back in April and I'm just getting all my things together I don't have my suitcase yet because it's all it's still 10 days away um, but I have a bag where I know where I'm putting stuff that I know I'm going to be bringing with me so I'm really excited so yeah I hope you guys are all doing well and I will talk to you soon bye